taking you overseas, are we on the brink of World War III here? President Biden believes a ceasefire deal can still be obtained between Israel and Hezbollah, yet both sides are ramping up their attacks on each other across the Lebanon-Israel border. Joining me now is Bill O'Reilly, host of No Spin News and the author of the current number one New York Times bestseller, Confronting the President. Uh, Bill, good morning to you. Thanks for being on with me. The pleasure, Marky. So tensions are mounting, uh, as you know, by the day, as we inch closer and closer to October 7th. Many, including President Trump, are warning of World War III. Um, it, do you think that's hyperbolic, or are we on the verge of that? No, it's hyperbolic. Um, but y you have to basically understand that when you have a situation this volatile, it can get out of control, but it's not there yet. A um, couple of things. Uh, what drives this conflict in the Middle East is Iran. But Iran is vulnerable. And uh, Israel could take out its ports. There are four of them in Iran. If that happens, Iran starves. So Iran's not going to want uh, confrontation uh, with Israel. That's number one. So that eliminates, for now, the world war possibility. As far as the terrorists are concerned, Hamas and Hezbollah, they've been a problem since 1949. Mm -hmm. And it, the problem is just ongoing. And Biden came up there and said he wants to cease fire, but with all due respect, he has no clue. He doesn't understand the issue. He's not really interested in the issue. He's checked out. Um, now, I was and am very interested in Kamala Harris's view of it, but you can't get that because she doesn't submit to interviews. So right now it's a um, regional, it's nasty, it's going to get worse uh, as far as uh, October 7th, the anniversary is coming up, and uh, Israel is, uh, they're protecting themselves. Yeah. I know that Kamala Harris has agreed to a sit down today with MSNBC. We'll see if uh, they get into uh, this conflict at all. Uh, we've been uh, wait, waiting wait, wait, for wait, some. Wait, 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 wait. A sit down with MSNBC, Marky, is like being interviewed by your mom. True. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying that she is sitting down. We'll see if that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see well, if, if they right approach now. that at all. She's not going to be challenged in any way. It's going to be a kiss, kiss. And that's why she's doing it. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll be watching tonight. Do you think um, a ceasefire would be possible under, if she wins, if she's in the White House come January, what would that have to look like from her for that to come to fruition, Bill? Uh, there are, a ceasefire is dependent upon terrorists because terrorists run Gaza and much of Lebanon. So the terrorists can say, and maybe they will, and I hope they do, yeah, okay, um, we're going to release the hostages, and we're going to stop fighting. But then five days later, <laughs> they're back to being terrorists. So I, I hate to be cynical about this, but I understand the issue. I've been there. Um, it is extremely complex, and I yeah. don't think it's going to be solved anytime soon. Um, before I let you go, Bill, what you make of the Senate probe that, that just came out, um, kind of laying out all of, of the failures and inefficiencies um, from the Secret Service surrounding the first assassination attempt against President Trump? I mean, part of it says the Secret Service never even went on that rooftop uh, where Thomas Matthew Crooks fired at him or even at the building complex before the shooting took place. Your takeaways from that, Bill? Horrifying. You know, I, I hearken back to my book, Confronting the Presidents, uh, and also Killing Lincoln, when his security detail left him alone in the theater so John Wilkes Booth could go up and blow his head off. Um, these failures are human, um, but it's horrifying that, you know, once the premier protective agency in the world has descended to this point. Secret Service needs to be totally reorganized. That's just insane. Um, so as an American, I'm very, very sad uh, that this took place. Yeah, uh, the Secret Service obviously needs to be fortified for all of the protectees involved here. Um, we'll see what more comes of this probe. Bill O'Reilly, always good to have you. Thank you so much, sir. Talk Thanks to you soon.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.